Hello, beautiful souls. Let's talk about the solstice. I know we've had a lot of turning points over the last few years. This is another big significant one. We are about to receive another intense wave of light activations. And um, I believe that this June 2023 solstice is the opening to a whole gateway of light activations that are going to be active from about now until the Lion's Gate 88 of this year. Um, so this big portal here. And these solar activations will amplify Christ consciousness or solar consciousness on the earth, which is the ascension or life wave consciousness. Okay, so big stuff. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing some downloads that I've received around this time, this uh, solstice window here. And um, it'll be an Akashic message. I'm sharing a piece of artwork that's uh, reflecting of these energies, as well as what to expect or possible kind of repercussions from this solstice time and suggestions for preparing ourselves physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, as well as there will also be an invitation to a solstice event. So hang on until the end. All right, so let's start with the Akashic message for the June solstice 2023. And I am just going to read this to you verbatim as it was channeled through me. The tables are turning. What you have heretofore believed is but a shadow of the true world you live in. Expect surprises. Things are not as they seem or may not be so for the majority of humanity at this time. The more you delude yourself, the more vulnerable you are to delusion. For those who earnestly seek truth, your experience is about to shift dramatically. Your eyes will be opened. You will see the light as you have never seen it before, as though you were a newborn child opening its eyes for the first time in a new incarnation. You will reach a depth of understanding of who you are, heretofore unattainable to you. Things will be revealed and you will go forward with peace in your heart. You will have a greater understanding of the workings of the universe. Your eyes will be unclouded. Some of the things that will be revealed unto you will be dark beyond imagining. Have no fear, you will also be equipped to hold space for these evils that the world may transcend them. These evils cannot destroy you, for you are light. Understand that these things are simply the shadow of the great light that is being revealed to the world. In the material world, shadow must accompany light. It is the law, and in time you will recognize the beauty and necessity of this system. In the meantime, however, know that light structures of exquisite design are being created within your physical, etheric, and astral bodies, and specifically in the region of the head, which are capable of perceiving the hidden light locked within the darkest shadow, and of working upon it so as to ignite the flame of love within even the darkest matter, lifting it upwards out of night. The time has come to arise, O sons and daughters of the sun. You are one, you are one, you are one. Okay, and so that's the message I received. Very powerful. I encourage you to listen again. I'm going to put the timestamp in the description below in case you want to revisit that message. There's a lot there. Um, for now, I'm going to go on to the piece of artwork, and this is a painting that uh, surfaced um, uh, just a few days ago for me. I had painted, uh, started it, oh, probably two, three years ago, and sometimes paintings that I start or, or work on, like, I don't come to understand what they're about or why I've been called to paint them until a couple of years later, and often they're unfinished, right? And it's only when it's time, when the, the energies have kind of caught up to the painting that it's time to finish them and that was the case with this one and I call this solar logos when I tuned into this painting I also got another Akashic message so um, I will be back to you and I asked my guides my guidance which are aspects of my higher self right to describe the painting and to tell me its meaning the meaning behind it 
And here's what they said. This painting represents a turning point, an abandonment of older ways of being in order to remain aligned with solar momentum. The focal point is the sun. This must always be the focal point if one is to evolve and ascend. The sun represents or, um, or embodies the life-giving force of the universe, the creative impulse, the life ways, cosmic consciousness or Christ consciousness. As you bring the sun into your consciousness, it unlocks the power of inner sight and the greater awareness of a higher realm. The eagle is your guide here. He is vision and also detachment from the earthly plane. There is much motion in this painting. It is a twisting, turning motion. The movement is clockwise, aligning oneself to the current timeline in alignment with solar patterns, the solar impulse. The dove is the Christ essence awakened within the human heart. It too is turning to align the heart with the movement of the sun. The gaze is contemplative, looking at once outwards and inwards. Thus, there is balance without and within, above and below. There is an element of time at play here. The painting was created years ago and only surfaced at this time to be completed and shared. There is a contingent of people for whom this June 2023 solstice solar activation will be a final activating key. These people have prepared themselves in advance. They have readied themselves for these energies that will unlock a heretofore unattainable expression of the solar logos within them. This painting is a portal and will help to activate the solar impulse within you for those who are ready for such activation. Arise, O oh warriors of light. Okay, so again, a lot of stuff. I'll put the timestamp below. And then, then finally, I want to add that I'm really feeling a lot of blue ray energy. Um, and, and I'm going to be creating another video shortly about the blue ray of light. And uh, But there's a connection with thunder beings. So if you vibrate to the blue ray, this may feel like an especially strong portal for you. Okay, so what can we expect from these solstice energies and moving through the solstice portal and beyond? Okay, so here's some of my interpretations or just some gut feelings that I have. Keep in mind that any predictions are always potential timelines. And I really encourage you to tap into your own intuition because each of us has a unique connection to source and uh, you may be seeing different timelines and you also may be getting messages or receiving information that clarifies and sheds even more light on this time that we're entering. And uh, so if you do receive anything like that, uh, do feel free to share in the comments below because these impulses that we receive, these messages, uh, they are very valuable to the collective. Okay, so what can we expect here? Again, this is my interpretation, um, but I feel like this will trigger an intense cycle of purification on the planet. I know we're already in one, but it feels like it's going to amp it up a little bit or become come into another a round of the purification that we've been going through. Um, I would expect the dark forces of the planet to go on the offensive as they will become even more desperate. I'm thinking like a wild animal, if you get it cornered, that's when it really starts to fight. I feel like whatever dark things that we're, we may see coming up, is that's going to be what it is. And what's really important to remember that it's there because the light has gotten so strong, okay? Um, so, but you may expect, we might expect to see an increase in dark energies as well as false light beings and agendas. And I feel like that first message, they were talking about deception. That is a super, super important thing to keep in mind. There's going to be a lot of false light. Um, we may see a large portion of humanity choosing to follow dark and false light impulses, including succumbing to mind control, including tighter governmental restrictions of all kinds, as well as alterations of the body. Okay, um, 
many may undergo a dark night of the soul experience okay as dark energies are brought to light this is a purification process and these people need to understand the incredible amount of light that is here to support them at this time and this that may be difficult to, for them to see this will be a time of great awakening for many so <laughs> this is a a, a call to really come into our hearts and and be ready to hold very compassionate space for whoever is around us that may be experiencing something like this um as was brought through in that second message for some who have been preparing themselves diligently this will be the turning point into a much deeper connection with the higher self which will allow you to come into full alignment with your soul mission okay so a lot more really powerful souls really coming into their power at this time or through or, or shortly after this whole portal window um and this group, as well as those who ha have already been fully aligned with the Solar Logos or Christ Impulse, are going to find themselves called strongly into action. And so this is a big wave of Christ activation within a significant portion of the human collective. And I, I want to, when I use the word Christ, I'm talking um this is not religious. This is a very uh, alignment with the life force energy, the consciousness, the universal God consciousness of the universe. Okay. Um, okay. So suggestions for how to prepare for these changes. Um, I asked first about preparing the physical body and I was given another message here, which I will relay word for word. Your physical body is a servant to the mind. Therefore, to receive the highest service from your physical vessel, you must treat it with the utmost compassion and reverence, while at the same time, always maintaining mastery over it. Know that your body is here to serve you, and for that it must be loved. Your body is a gift of the earth who birthed you. Accept it in gratitude and see it for what it is, a thing of beauty whose limitations are its greatest strength. Do not curse the body for its weakness. Know that your body in its wisdom will teach you to channel, hone, and refine your raw power in ways most useful to you, should you allow it to instruct you. There is nothing you are meant to do on earth that you cannot accomplish with this body you have been given. Just as it is, no interference necessary. Your body is a tool of the mind. Yet the mind itself is all the tool the body needs. Your mind is capable of performing miracles where the body is concerned. If you know, want to know how, just ask your inner guidance. Okay, so that's the last actual Akashic, you know, downloaded Akashic message that I received. But I also um, did go in to feel into preparations that we can make for the mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies. And this is what uh, I felt coming up. Um, to prepare the mental body, the big thing is to study metaphysical law and spiritual science, okay? This will provide a framework for understanding the world that will absolutely allow you to start seeing through illusion and delusion, which is how the anti-life forces gain and keep power. Okay, a lot, a lot, a lot of um, illusion being put forth right now, uh, delusions, uh, distractions. So really be aware that knowledge of spiritual law is absolutely essential because without this framework, your heart energy can be subverted and used to feed dark forces. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. Without knowledge of spiritual law, your heart energy can be subverted and used to feed dark forces, okay? So a few resources if you want to get started in learning about spiritual law. I have a playlist that just gives the, the first, I think it's the first, the seven hermetic principles, which is just a very fundamental um, I would really encourage uh, looking into any of the wisdom traditions of 
the worlds of the esoteric branches of the major religions, okay? Um, indigenous spirituality will have a lot of wisdom in it. Occult science um, also is a beautiful place to find. This is, this is really spiritual science, um, but you also have to be careful about, you know, kind of what channels you're studying through because um, it, it's it's like any other science. Science can be used for good or it can be used, you know, for destructive things. One person that I feel is really on track um, and, and can give you a really mind-blowing crash course on metaphysical science, check out Gigi Young on YouTube. And she is a treasure trove of knowledge about spiritual and occult science. And I have found her to be very much aligned with the light and coming from the heart. And she has several playlists that will help you very quickly begin to grasp the structure of the universe we're living in right now. Um, and it's, I, I feel like this is really essential knowledge. So I'm going to put these resources down below in the description. Okay. And then preparing the emotional body. A couple things. One is detachment. You must learn to master your emotions. And if we do not learn to master our emotions, they can and will be used against us. Okay. So cultivating detachment, and this is this is taught by all the major gurus of all times, um, uh, the Buddha, Krishna, Jesus Christ, right? All of them, they they teach detachment, right? It is super, super important to release our emotional attachments because those can be used to kind of subvert our energy okay but on the flip side of that detachment just on its own without love creates psychopathy okay so along with detachment it is absolutely essential to work with the higher emotional body to raise your vibration and especially to cultivate the heart right to cultivate love and so working with any kind of heart coherence practice is vital at this time okay and lastly uh, preparing the spiritual body it's super important right now it, it in order to stay on the life wave, to align with the solar logos, right? To bring in the energy of the sun and align our own energy field with that of the sun. That's what this is all about. That is the ascension process. And this is something that I encourage all of us to be super, super aware of right now that it's like we're bringing in sun energy. That's what this painting is all about that, that helps to trigger um, that that solar alignment and so now we've come to my invitation to you i will be hosting a gathering on june 21st right around the time of the solstice so um, it's 11 a.m eastern time and i'm making this a an open house event please do come if you feel guided i will be doing an interactive guided meditation to align with the solar energy and um, when i say interactive it's because whoever is present there you're lending your energy to this is going to be a cosmic event that will assist in you know connecting with that sun energy and also bringing that sun energy into the planetary field okay so that is june uh, 21st uh, at 11 a.m eastern and i'll put the link to that in the description as well until then um all my love to you and remember you were born to be free